Hey everyone, this is Brian at Obedia, and today I'm going to show you how to make use of ToonTrack's Superior Drummer Multi Outputs in Personas' Studio One Digital Audio Workstation. This is real easy to do, so let's jump right into it. I have a blank Studio One session opened up right here, and I'm going to go ahead and take a look at my browser. The browser, of course, is where you're going to have access to all of your plugins and many of the other uh, things that you can access in Studio One. Now, I'm going to go ahead and select Superior Drummer, drag and drop it onto my Studio One project here. So now I have Superior Drummer opened up. First thing that I need to do in order to enable the multiple outputs and allow me to send each of these drums and their virtual miking outputs to different inputs in Studio One is I need to click on the mixer. Now, take a look at the bottom section of each of these channel strips here. You'll notice that right now, all of them say out one, two for the output section. What we wanna do is click on this and in this pop-out menu that shows up, we're going to select the option for multi-channel. Now you're going to notice when I select that, that each of these channel strips now has been blown up to have a different output for many of the instruments. Now some of these are routed all together, such as the kick drum you're gonna notice is all on out one, two. Now you can change these by clicking on this same area and selecting a different output for each of these instruments. So let's say that I wanted to send the kick drum all to out 1112. Well, all I have to do is select out 1112, and I'm going to do this for each of the kick drum outputs that I have right here. So you notice now I've sent each of my kick drums to out 1112, and then as I move down the list, I have access to my snare drum top, bottom, so on and so forth. So this allows me to get really creative with the routing uh, that I am using for these virtual instruments inside of Superior Drummer. Okay, so now I've done that, and that's great. I'm almost there. However, I need to start creating new virtual inputs in Studio One. Well, this is also really easy to do, especially in Studio One. Double click on the track which you have Superior Drummer assigned to. Now your mixer is going to open up down here in the bottom section. Here in the mixer, if it's not selected, click on the Instruments tab. This is going to show you the instruments which you have available and open here in your Studio One session. Now you're going to notice that I have Superior Drummer listed in the Instruments section right here. If I click on this little arrow, I'm going to see a pop-out menu. This menu has an option for Expand. If you click on Expand, this is going to expand the options for this instrument. And you're going to notice that because I've enabled multiple outs here in Superior Drummer, you're gonna notice that I have all of these outputs. And as I click each one of these, I'm going to create a new track for each of these virtual outputs here in Superior Drummer. So I'll zoom out a little bit and I'll show you as I create these new virtual outs, I'm going to get new channel strips here in my Studio One session. So you can see now I have all of these new virtual routings for Superior Drummer. And what this means is that as I play Superior Drummer, I'm going to have Superior Drummer's output being routed to these virtual inputs here in Studio One. And so you notice right now, the very cool thing about that is that this will allow me to add specific effects to each of these instruments. So if I solo just 1112, which is where I decided to send my kick drum, let's remember, and I play that, there's my kick drum. And it sounds kind of dry, however, I can access my inserts and then I can make use of a number of effects presets which are available to me. I can also drag and drop an effect onto my insert section here of this channel strip and add specific effects to just my kick drum. Now again, I can get really creative with the routing for each of these instruments and I can route each instrument to a new input inside of Studio One simply by taking a look at the routing here in Superior Drummer's virtual mixer. So you can see how easy this is uh, to enable these virtual inputs 
in Studio One and make use of the unique features of TuneTrack's superior drummer to allow you to send each of those outputs to new inputs in Studio One. Then you can add all the effects that you would like, use all of your third-party VSTs and other effects, and have some real fun with the sound design of your dream kit in Superior Drummer. As always, I hope that this has been useful to you guys. If you have any questions, you can get in touch with me at brian at obedia.com or on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obediatutor. Until next time, thank you for watching, happy music making, and I'll see you again soon. Hey.